welcome to my YouTube channel Technocats. In today's video, we will learn about the ADPRW instruction that is for Mod Modbus Master in FX5 PLC. So let's get started. In this video, I will show you two uh, examples. One is for D700 VFD that is Mitsubishi D700 series. And one is the temperature controller of uh, Delta that is DTC1000. So I will show you how to use ADPRW instruction with this both uh, VFD and a temperature controller card. So let's get started. First, I will make a new project. Now, let us do the setting part. We'll go to the parameter section. That is 485 serial port setting here in module parameters. Now I will select uh, Modbus RT. Oh, sorry, Modbus. Uh, sorry. Uh, I will select uh, the Modbus RT communication. Yes, this is the setting. So do the parity, uh, parity bit, stop bit, and baud rate according to the requirement. And I click apply. Okay. Check. Okay. So I will just use. Uh, that was even. I will apply, check, and close this window. So now we can uh, use the A D P -E R W instruction. Let us first discuss about the instructions uh, uh, points that we have here. So the first block. Let me open the manual. The first block is H two, means uh, the slave uh, address. That is. Uh, So the first point that is S1 is your station slave station number. So let us go to the program and we'll write H1. That is our first station. Okay. Now the second is your function code. Third is par function parameter depending on the model. Uh, sorry, uh, function code. So let's see the function code and other settings. So to read the coil, you will write 01. To read the input, you will write 02. For reading holding registers, you will write 03. For uh, read input register 04. 05 is for your write coil. Right holding register is your 06 and so on. I mentioned here. Now, the S3 is your Modbus address. So it will go from 0 to trip, uh, 4 time F. That is uh, your maximum value. And... Uh, here we have S4 that is device coin, uh, sorry, uh, device count. So, and D5 is your starting device storage data uh, address that can be a D100 to 200, anything else. So, let's see in the program what we'll write. So, I will open the D700 manual. This is my D700 uh, VFD manual. So, as you can see, the Modbus register is provided here. So. There is your output frequency and speed, output current, output voltage, output frequency settings, oblique speed setting. And all the addresses are shown here in the left side. So I will I have maintained the Excel so we can use this Excel to uh, get the address. So to set the frequency, you will uh, we have to use the holding register 40014. So we will reduce it by one because our base is minus one and the actual register will which we from the data which we will write is uh, 40013 so let us write it in our program so our uh, slave address is h1 now we will reuse h10 that is our uh, function code then the 30 number that is your modbus address as mentioned here, sorry, as mentioned here, so 13. We will use uh, 13 here as a Modbus uh, write address. We'll go to the green. Now, the number of device I want to write is K1. The data register which I will write is D100. 
have we had the value of d100 to time eta number 13 and here we have this uh, m0 bit that is for the status of ad uh, prw instruction so let us write the comment for this this is our set frequency okay yes this can be a status bit So this is uh, for uh, this is to write the frequency to the D700 controller. Now we can use one more instruction to reset the alarm which will occur in VFD. If any alarm occurs in the VFD, we can reset that by using a DPW instruction. So to reset the uh, alarm. We will have to use inverter reset 4000 that will become 01. So the address here will be 1. H1 is my station number. Okay. Now, after this, I have to use the function code that is H10. The value for uh, the, the data is so the mod bus uh, address is K1 number of devices k1 and the value i want to write to this data register is 1 again and m10 can be our status so watch it so this will reset this is error reset bmd this is frequency right Now, this is for the D700 series. Now, if I want to use the uh, sec, uh, my second address, uh, sorry, suppose my second uh, uh, device is a DTC 1000, that is your Delta uh, temperature controller. So, for that, I have already made a question here. So, this is the address of Modbus address of your D, uh, DTC 1000, that is your Delta temperature controller. So to set the point, to set the point, we will use uh, 1001 as your Modbus address. So in decimal, it is 4098. So let us see how we can write this here. So let's suppose we will use uh, M3. It will be your uh, set uh, SV. SP is always at set point. So for this, I will use a DPRW instruction with my Modbus slave station address that is H2. Now I have to use uh, the uh, function code that is H6 for this, and uh, H1001 is your Modbus address. Okay, 1001. After that, I will use K1 or H1, whichever, and uh, the 120 that is your set point value, and I will use M20 as your code. So, this is your SV set value, and this is your status again. So, by turning M3 on, uh, you can write the value in of D120 to 1001 that is your address for a set point for DTC 1000 uh, that is a Delta temperature control so this is all in this video if you like my video please like share and subscribe thank you